Welcome to Local News on this Saturday afternoon. We're here at the Luton Who, and connected with the Luton Who is the Wall Garden, which has the pumpkin and apple fair. Let's have a look around and see if we're left with a rumbling stomach. Today we're doing a pumpkin and apple gala, um, which is obviously a celebration of all things pumpkin and apple. Um, we've got pumpkin decorating stalls, we've got um, big displays of pumpkins, displays of apples, cider tents. Um, we've got a massive display of uh, pumpkins that have been decorated by local school kids. Um, and so there's, yeah, there's lots of things which are all pumpkin and apple related really. So is this an annual project or is it a tentative event? Um, no, it's the second year that we've done it. Um, last year was just pumpkins, this year we've added apples as well to appeal to those who are not that keen on pumpkins. Um, but we definitely want to do it probably every year, I think, from now on. I have here with me Sylvia from the Pumpkin Fair and she looks absolutely gorgeous. We got to see one of the um, organisers of the events and she like told us like the information that's happening. What exactly are you doing here today? We're entertaining the crowd, we're sort of making Morris dancing look fun and um, uh, keeping, keeping the crowd amused and um, trying to attract people in and get, because it's a fundraising event, so obviously that's, that's the whole idea is to get, some, get lots of people here, isn't it? And if Morris dancing brings people in, then that's great. <laughs> it might be the pumpkin and apples and all the children as well, though. <laughs> Charlotte, the organiser, told us that this is like an annual event, so this is your first year or were you here last year? I was here last year, um, and uh, yes, and I'm a volunteer here anyway, so I, I'm the link, really, with Charlotte, so yes. We do lots of other things as well. We had, um, we're open for Heritage Open Days um, and we have a summer open day as well. And basically all the money that we raise from today goes into funding the walled garden and restoring it um, and sort of doing gardening and things like that. It's the first time we've come. We, we didn't know about it before. I think it's probably been a bit better advertised this year. And, uh, and with having Lily then we thought it'd be nice to come along. It's quite, a, it's quite a unique thing that's going on. It's not like it's a car fair that's going to obviously attract customers. I mean, what, what, what brought you to um, the attraction? Well, I saw it um, advertised in quite a lot of local papers and in the, sort of, and in the windows of shops. And I thought, oh, it'd be really nice because it's so local. Um, not knowing much about the wall gardens, so I actually come and sort of see the wall gardens and pumpkin and apple fair. So that'd be really good. So, so where are you guys travelling from? Um, I'm only from Harpenden. Yeah, just down the road. So, it's yeah, only. about five minutes away. Yeah. What do you think of the Apple and Pumpkin Fair at the moment? Oh, we thought it was great. We've had a great time. So it's um, there's lots to do for the children and lots on offer. So it's very good. Yeah. So what's the most interesting thing that you've uh, experienced today? Um, I thought the Morris dancers were excellent. And I loved the display of all the pumpkins from children that have decorated them from all over the schools in the area. I thought that was really nice. So. Um, if you come next year, do you reckon you'll try to get your children involved in some of the uh, activities that's going on? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think he, we didn't get a chance to do the, the painting and things, but I think he'd really like, the Reese would really like that, and Kate, so yeah, definitely. Well, it's evident that lots of concepts can come from apples and pumpkins, and the local people have definitely come out to appreciate those very things. I'm Christian Nicoli, and this is Local News.